What's going on everyone? I'm Data Report here for datareport.info for the Saturday Pandemic Update video for Saturday, March 4th, 2023. We have no new COVID positives to report on today. I have not found any in the last 24 hours since the previous video. I haven't found any in several days. I think a lot of celebrities and politicians and well-known figures are opting not to report their case publicly because we know they test more than the average person does and yet I can't seem to find the cases. If you find any, send a direct message to me on Twitter or hit me up in the comment sections of one of my uh, tweets or something or leave a comment here on the channel and I will gladly investigate it and add it to my archives. Alrighty here, we do have a COVID outbreak to report on and this one should be relatively concerning to everybody because here's the deal there's a COVID outbreak in a Cape Cod nursing home so far it has left four dead and dozens infected I did a little type out here on the of the story I used uh, two different sources CBS News Boston and the Cape Cod Times and here's what I found four residents have died in a COVID outbreak in South Yarmouth which is in Cape Cod there have been 74 resident cases in this outbreak and 19 among staff. Prior to this outbreak, there was only one death, so this is alarming. That's right, the nursing home only had one death prior to this outbreak. Also think of it this way, 74 out of 89 residents are positive. So they have 89 total residents at this nursing home, and 74 of them are positive. Who remembers back at the start of the pandemic when we were supposed to be taking care of our elderly and making sure that they were kept safe? Meanwhile, the vaccine has been out, the boosters have been out, and yet the majority of this one single nursing home has tested positive. This shows you how easily this variant, XBB15, can spread like a wildfire. It is so, so super transmissible this is truly alarming how many other nursing homes around the country is this happening in that and i should also add this now, while i don't have a wastewater site for uh, cape cod at least not on the cdc page maybe there's one out there somewhere the majority of massachusetts has been dropping and yet this has happened so i mean this is telling me that even if wastewater is low in your area do not let your guard down because an outbreak can happen at any time. And it also tells me with the XBB15 variant, it provides no immunity. Because remember, we would start seeing a drop after a, a variant has peaked and it would move on to the next uh, variant. We haven't had the next variant yet and already this variant is able to do this. So this is really bad. Also, there's this. DC Health covid centers are closing on march 31st here's their statistics they have issued and distributed more than 1 million free masks more than 80,000 doses of covid 19 vaccine boosters and flu vaccine 400,000 rapid antigen covid 19 test kits and nearly 40,000 pcr tests so that's relatively impressive but as we know covid is not going away and it's going to continue so they should probably continue this but I would think some of this is probably in relation to uh, a financial decision. And plus, it says here there's a significant drop in cases. But as you know, a new wave can start up at any given time. And every state is different. Like right now, here's the wastewater. Let's get into that. As you can see here, some areas are low in the blue. And the, uh, the, the whitish blue. But then you have these orange and red areas where it's moderate to high transmission in wastewater. And any of these gray ones, these are areas that are currently not reporting. So we can see here, conditions have improved a little bit up in Maine. But look at the wastewater here in uh, Massachusetts. I'm going to try and zoom this in. Yeah, well, Anywho, as you can see here, look at the wastewater up in Massachusetts. It's relatively low, but we don't have a wastewater site, at least not on this page, in Cape Cod, so we don't know what's going on out there. But what makes it even more concerning is who remembers the Providence outbreak back in 2021? That started a trend. 
that spread all across the country with these breakthrough cases and stuff. And now that's the first place that's having a really massive nursing home outbreak. I mean, we also have the nursing home outbreak up in Maine. But this one is, I mean, it's almost the entire nursing home. And who's to say that it doesn't grow? Because if you go to my website, click on those articles, it actually shows you. It's been growing and growing, so it could spread to all of them, unfortunately. And this could be the start of a trend as we go into the spring wave. Last year there was a spring wave. I'm anticipating there will be one this year. Ohio is still moderate to high in many places, as is northern Illinois and portions of Wisconsin. Then you have here Nebraska, which is really bad. I mean, almost every wastewater site except for two not reporting, and this one right here, which... It is dropping a little bit. Holt, it only serves 3,700 people, so that doesn't do much. And you still do have a few increasing areas in California. Alrighty, moving on to the latest CDC transmission map. 1,574 counties are in high. Substantial is 874 counties. Moderate is 604 counties. And low is 170 counties. Now we have the latest... Um, varying proportion. We probably won't do a full-scale varying proportion this week because it's pretty well uniform now. Everywhere, XBB15 is dominant at a high level. The national level is 89.6%. BQ1.1 is still 6.7%. BQ.1 is at 1.6%. Now, taking a look at New York State, which is updating as we speak, at least for me it is. And uh, New York State is 1,422 new cases. Test positivity is 3%. The seven-day average is also 3%. Taking a look at New York State hospitalizations, don't think we had an update today, did we? Let's see here. I'll just give you the latest number. Okay, it did update. 1,696 people are in the hospital. 187 people are in the ICU. And we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on Walgreens today, but we will briefly take a look at Walgreens. And Walgreens, uh, the positivity nationally is 30.5%. The prior week is 32%. That is down 1.5%. But I do want to bring attention to these uh, red ones. And these are the ones that we're going to focus on. New Hampshire's positivity is up 13.9%. It's 35% this week. 21.1% last week, so that's a huge increase. Connecticut also seeing a big increase. 30.7% this week. 23.8% last week. Difference of 6.9% upward, and the testing is also up. Maryland, look at this. Maryland is 33.3% this week, 25% last week, up 8.3%, but testing is down. West Virginia, 41.8% positivity now, so it continues to rise there. 29.7% last week. That's a difference of up 12.1%. Kentucky, 33.6% this week, 26% last week. That's up 7.6%. Wisconsin, 39% this week, 29.7% last week. That is up 9.3%. And look at the testing here. Good amount of increase in testing, 759 this week, 714 last week. Take a look at Montana, 33.3% this week, 25% last week. That's a difference of 8.3% up. Idaho, 35.8% this week, up 4.7% from last week's 31%. And now we come over here to Washington, which is seeing a... Uh, Sudden significant rise, 25.6% this week, 20.5% last week, up 5.1%, and testing is up by 30, with uh, 449 tests this week, 419 last week. And we will end here on Florida. Let's take a look at Florida. 29.1% this week, 32% last week, continues to drop. It's down 2.8%, but I'll tell you two things. Spring break is coming, and Daytona Beach area has this huge week-long bike festival. Hundreds of thousands of bikers. I happened to catch some of it on TV yesterday. And, uh, yeah, that definitely looked like a super spreader to me. All right, taking a look at uh, this week's deaths. And the deaths for this week, on March 3rd, another 41 deaths were added, which brings this week's total to 2,000. 293 deaths, I believe that works out to this week. So, 
Yes, that is um, better than last week, but again, it's still too high. And we have to watch maybe if several weeks from now, say as we go towards April, that could creep up a little bit again because if we start seeing northern states rise, it's either going to level off or rise slightly again. Taking a look at the national hospitalizations, 25,799 people are in the hospital. And as for ICUs, 3,158 people are in the ICU. There is one last thing I want to show you on this. Check this out. This is Maine. Maine had 109 people in the hospital back on November 23rd. They have been going through cycling waves. Even up to now, it's finally starting to drop a little bit. Yesterday was 201. Uh, the latest update for today is now down to 185. But look at this. While other states have dropped, Maine continued to rise. Remember we were falling for about two weeks? That rise in positivity for Maine? Well, look at it. It was clearly, um, it was clearly shown here by the hospitalizations. It just continued to build, and it's dropping again. Each time it drops, though, the baseline is higher than the previous time. So we'll have to keep seeing if this uh, continues as we head into spring. I mean, this is really concerning that they have not had a significant drop to below 100 for a very long time. Matter of fact, they haven't been below 100 since at some point in 2022, I believe. Early 2022. Anyhow, finally, taking a look at a little bit of international um, cases here. Not going to really get too much into this. Germany is now actually down 8%. Taiwan's down 19%. Brazil is up 69%. Their cases are now down 60%. Austria's up 11%. And down 24% on deaths. Australia's up 3% on cases. Poland is now up 16% on cases. And they're up 88% on deaths. That's not good. Chile is up 24% on cases. Down 29% on deaths. And we will end on the Netherlands. Look at this. 86% rise in cases in the Netherlands. They're not reporting on deaths for some reason. But that case rise, that's really... Um, that's really impressive. Wow, that's not good at all, and I don't know why they're not reporting on deaths. Maybe they've had no deaths, but I find that hard to believe. Alrighty, thanks for watching today's pandemic update video. If you like the content I do on my channel, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Until next time, stay safe everyone.